Hi YouTube, I'm going to start this video by showing y'all what I'm taking to get this good workout that I'm about to show y'all. This is Woke AF. Um, I'm not sponsored, no. Um, why are you advertising for a company that's not sponsored? Because I don't care about that. At the end of the day, I'm telling y'all what works and what's good. Um, this ain't the only pre-workout supplement I take. I take plenty of them. Um, I, I look at price, um, how much it works, this and that, a third. And I got like 10 of them, give or take, that I call my go-to's. That, um, hey, 10 of them, give or take, that I call my go-tos. No, I do not take 10 of them at once. No, I'm taking this one right here. Um, what I'm doing is, uh, if I got 10 of them that I mess with, and I go in the store, because I don't order anything. So if I go in the store, most likely one of those 10 are going to be on sale. That's how. So, I'm uh, hey, <laughs> I'm just trying to get it again. Let's go hit the gym. But be warned, this is high stimulant. This is called Woke AF Black high stimulant i only take high stimulant stuff all right um you might not need it if you're new to pre-workout you do not need it this is very high caffeine this is a very high other stimulants the beta alanines and all that you know what i'm saying look at that you know what i'm saying this will get you off your butt <laughs> you know what i'm saying y'all just type in if you want different ones type in rapid time fitness pre-workout reviews I, I would recommend for a beginner to take like equate from walmart yes ten dollars a month supply and it works don't work that good for me though because i'm a veteran at this i've been taking it the, the, it, all right man whatever man all right y'all i'm about halfway there um I always advise people if you go take a pre-workout supplement take it before you go to the gym don't take it when you get to the gym you want 15 to 30 minutes before you touch the weights or before you you know what i'm saying like you know, it, 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 you 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 gonna find your time to take it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta come up with that time yourself. But what I do, what I'm saying is, you don't want to take it too early, to where it's wearing off midway through your workout. And you don't want to take it too late, to where uh, you know what I'm saying you gotta work out regular without feeling it before working out. It's for your workout, basically. A lot of people, what is, what is a pre-workout? What is it? It's to help you give you energy to work out better. I just woke up. It's 2.30. You know what I'm saying? In the morning. I woke up at about at 150 something. I don't know. I don't know. Man, look, also, when you get into this lifestyle, um, there's going to be a lot of stuff that right now you don't understand. There's going to be a lot of stuff that people are not going to un ever understand about you when you get into this fitness lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking, not just going to the gym and working out a little bit, not going to the gym and talking and whatever. I'm talking serious. I'm talking seriously getting into it. When you seriously get into this, people are going to call you crazy. People are going to call you obsessed. People are going to call you this and that and third, which for me is definitely not. For some people, it might be true. I don't know. For me, it's not true. I'm just serious about my goals, and I understand what it takes to reach my goals. And it's, put it like this. I'm going to sum it up real quick for y'all. I was saying this the other day. Um, somebody who does nothing is always going to look at somebody who does something and, and look at them crazy. They're always, I said some kind of, how did I say it? Whatever, it don't got to sound good. It, don't sound, it sounded great when I said it. I forgot how I said it. You ever, you ever do that? So don't, don't look at me. You don't even talk about it. You don't know what you even said. That don't mean I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You just want to... <laughs> You just want to do that. <laughs> Don't be hating, man. Get the message. You ain't got to have the perfect words to get the message, do you? I mean, you speak perfectly. You can do this? All right, then. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But no, nah, we almost there. I'm just bullcrapping. But I'm just saying, though, people are not going to understand. People that do nothing will never understand people that do something. I think that's how I said it. It doesn't matter what it is. When people say... Matter of fact, if they had time, if they was actually doing something, they wouldn't have time to tell you that you're you're too much into this or too much into that. People that say you're too much into something, most likely they're into nothing at all. Or they're just jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. People say, ain't nobody hating on you. If somebody says ain't nobody hating on you, nine times out of ten, they hate on you. Nobody's here, thank God. The other day, uh, this is my second workout back. Um, this is my second where I'm not gonna do the flip the camera around to show y'all the uh, gym and everything and all that because people be uh, 
not like in the area, area of Hill East. Like, you know what I'm saying? But um, what I'm trying to say is uh, I like going to the gym at times. Like right now, this is this is what the prime example. People think that I think that working out at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., um, 1 a.m. is the best time to work out or whatever. Or, or because I like doing it because it's hard. It's, no, it's not a discipline thing for me. It's just the fact that I like going to the gym where nobody's in there and I can get a good workout without a bunch of this. This is not a workout. This is all people do. And it stops my workout. You know, what, what, I don't see the problem with that because you like to talk a lot and I don't. You know, I like to put in work. You're not going to get these results without putting in work. So, long story short, um, I haven't been in the gym consistently this year, period, but um, two weeks. Uh, so, it's been pretty much a month since I've been on my stuff like I want to. There's going to be times like that, too. Um, people that don't do this and don't live this lifestyle, they think that you're going to be 100% every time you go in the gym. You're going to be 100%. Every no, we're not always 100%. We're still human beings. You know what I'm saying? So there's life that happens. There's there's, there's changes at your job. There's changes at, 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 at life. You got kids and you got this. You got, you got I got other things to do. But so, this ain't the only thing I do. When I, when I cut on this camera and talk to y'all, I didn't just, you know, I didn't just poof, start existing for you, like like in the gym, I be telling people, man, I'm not here for you, dog. I came here to work out. I ain't here for you. A lot of people are like, oh, why don't you tell them this and why don't you tell them that? I do. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna repeat myself this time, man. Let's go ahead and jump out to hit these. Oh, that's what I'm doing. I'm bench pressing, but I'm doing dumbbell bench press. I haven't been in the gym consistently consistently at all this year. Um, Pulling myself out of a slump, a one month slump that ain't nothing, that ain't that, that, that ain't that bad. That's not the end of the world. That does not mean you don't work out no more. A lot of people they go in a slump and they just they stay. In. You will get in a slump if you're not a professional bodybuilder. Who's those are the guys you're talking about? I'm not one of them guys. I'm a natural lifter. I do not compete. Um, people that they compete, they usually don't have time to really teach you that much. They might give you a little tip here, a little tip there. They're not going to go in depth the way somebody who has more time is going to go in depth. You know, the last few videos, that's why I'm glad I'm talking to y'all a little face-to-face -face more right now. Um, I ain't been on this because I've been in the slump. Um, but I've I just been making those videos just to stay in touch. But in my opinion, those videos um, that I have been making for the last month or so um, are very informative. Um, probably more informative than these videos like this that I've been making. Um, this is more face-to-face -face and, and, and working out and showing you what, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yesterday I did legs and I was supposed to do bench yesterday, but I got scared. I don't care how that sounds. I, that's what this channel's about. This channel's about keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? This channel is about telling you what you want to hear. No, telling you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear, keeping it real. If I make a mistake, I don't edit it out. I tell you and I fix it. And this 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 channel right here, you're getting a human being. You're not going to get uh, only my perfect. You're not going to get, that's another thing. A lot of people think that these guys are so great, women, whatever. Instagram models and this and that and the third. You got all these fake people on YouTube. Like, YouTube is all that. You know what I'm saying? Because they only show you their best. I show you my best and my worst. Why you ain't show you in the slump, man? Because I went in the gym. I'm not just going to, you know, I'm in the slump. Here's my camera, my house. And I don't even film at my house. I don't film at my house at all. And a lot of people think that I be joking when I say this. I got stalkers, bro. I got people who will want to find out where I live at. Not to do nothing bad to me or nothing. They just want to come and hang out. I don't want that. Like, I, it's, it's weird when, when somebody knows you don't want to hang out or knows that you don't want to be in the conversation, but just force you into it. I, I hate that. That is the worst thing in the world to me. That is the worst thing in the world to me. Like, I need my peace. Oh.
the pre-workout kicking in, ears burning, bela alanine, da 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 da. A lot of people, oh, also, with pre-workout, a lot of people do not like the beta alanine tingles, burning, sensational feel. I love it. It just makes it, it makes me feel like the pre-workout is working better. It might not be working better, but it feels like it, and it's all about the feel at the end of the day. You going in there to get a good workout in the the supplement that you take, whether it's pre workout or whatever it is. I was gonna say protein, but protein, protein synthesis. You need protein for muscle, da da da. But you do not need to take a protein supplement. Get the protein from your diet, da da da. If you can't get it from your diet, take the supplement. Um, also, you know, a lot of people take the supplements to 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 to, to have lower calories. Make sure. If you're cutting and you try to get a protein supplement to avoid some calories from food, make sure your protein supplement also has very low calories to protein ratio. Um, we're going to get into that in another video. Matter of fact, do I have anything with a nutrition label on there? So I could give y'all like a little five second example before I go in the gym. I do not, but I'm going to talk to y'all about that in a while. Protein ratio. Basically, let's say something has 20 grams of protein, right? Imagine that you're seeing these numbers that I'm saying on a nutritional level, label. And I, I wish I had a nutrition label. I got water right there. It doesn't have anything in it. That's just water. Right here. I got junk in my car, but I don't have anything with a nutrition label. Um, we eat your nutrition labels. If it says it has 20 grams of protein, right, but it has way more than 200 calories, that is not a good protein ratio. You want to knock off a zero. You want the calories to be, let's say it's 300 calories. If it has less than 30 grams of protein, it is not a protein food. It is not a high protein food. I'm not saying that everything that goes in your mouth needs to be a high protein food, but to make sure you're reaching your protein goals, where most people are reaching their protein goals. If you eat, but this is, this is basically for if you're on a low calorie diet. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of my diet, at the end of my cut last year, I was eating 1,500 calories. Um, I got down to 150 pounds. So I needed at least 150 ca uh, 150 grams of protein, a lean mass, because I was very shredded, right? Right now, about 160. I'm only 10 pounds up. I'm still pretty lean. Um, if I wanted to get back shredded, a couple weeks, it's all it'll take striking zone. I'm staying in the striking zone. I do not want to bulk up again. Ever. Never. Um, We're going to talk about that in another video. Bulking and cutting this and that and the third. Um, and my beliefs on it. And at the end of the day, if you think I'm any way impressive, you need to listen. You need to listen. So I'm going in here and I'm bench pressing. I keep on beating around the bush and not even saying what I'm trying to say. Bench press but I'm not going all out. It's been a couple weeks since I bench pressed really. really. It's been over a month since I bench pressed heavy. Do not, for, for my safety, I ain't doing nothing crazy. I'm just going through the motions. I'm, I'm wasting time. I gotta work today too, so. Just know that I'm making, I'm getting back into it. Ease your way back into it. Do not just jump in the deep end. You're going to hurt yourself. Y'all see me lift the world. Y'all see my goods. Y'all see my bads. I don't know if this is going to be bad or moderate or, 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 or medium or whatever, but it ain't going to be my best. <laughs> it's not. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? I hope you know what I'm saying, though, because it's very important what I'm saying. If, if you want to get into this, it's very important that you don't hurt yourself. Not only for the gym, but I'm gonna speak on it like like it's only for the gym because you, you're gonna be hurting your real life too. You're not gonna hurt yourself in the gym and then come out of the gym and then magically be fixed. People be thinking that, like, no, you're gonna be you're gonna be effed up. <laughs> All right, so never mind, cause ain't nobody listening. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you that I can tell you. Um, I'm not gonna just. All right, y'all, I ended up doing the 60-pound dumbbells at my top set on the incline. Um, 
not heavy weight, but you see I haven't lost any muscle. You still see the bicep vein. I'm still relatively lean, even though I gained 10 pounds. Um, I should be stronger, but I'm not going to go all in on the first day. So I'm going to show you what I did today. Then I'm going to show you one of my best um, bench presses that I have on, on camera that I can find. I've been showing for the longest. But this is basically showing you I'm not going as heavy as I can go. and I'm not going as many reps as I can go. But I did way more sets than this, but only filmed one. I have to go to work. Here's one of my best bench presses that i ever done. Um, well, best that I have on camera that I can find. Y'all can probably go through my videos. It was a little struggle, but you know how much weight that is? All right, YouTube. I'm back home, actually. Um, I this did just not feel comfortable filming. So, so I'm going to show y'all recommended too, some of my best bench press videos. I'm going to probably show y'all this, <laughs> this video right here was before I really understood um, copyright on videos and stuff like that. That's my best video, Rapid Time Fitness. Yeah. That right there, just type that in. And some of my best bench press video was like middle of the video. It was not a video about bench press. And it was a video about me going to the movie with my girlfriend. And we were playing copyright music. So I titled it that, trying to get some views and whatever. But uh, yeah, you watch that video. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show y'all some of the bench press scenes from that video. Some of my warm-ups. Um, heavy warm-ups, right? So I got that video right there, how to bench press, teaching you how to bench press. Type in rep and time fitness, how to bench press. Um, look at my, look at my, never mind, don't look at the games. Um, only listen to people, let me see, where's a good bench press video? Rules for beginners, in the gym, that right there, that's new, 10 things to leave, that's not. Where's my video I had the heaviest dumbbells? Gym fails. That right there. Y'all see, that's the video I'll be always showing y'all. Um, let me see. Ten reasons why. I don't remember what I was talking about. Um, good form, bad form. Um, I was teaching you See, I be teaching a bunch of stuff, man. I got to get back in my... That's what it used to be called, movie night. No, that's a playlist. Play that playlist. Uh, you talk too much. Not you. You, you can read it. I was talking about that. Police, I don't remember what I was talking about. Sharks, fitness, um, food. Where's the deadlift? Summer shredding. Something about pre workout. There's something in the water. I think I was calling people stupid. That's, who is that? Bench press. No way home. Where's that video? I got so many bench press videos, man. Chest workout. Car problem. That wasn't my car problem. It was somebody else's car. Um, that's my car, but I'm just saying, like, you know, wake up, part-time job. I do not have a part-time job at Hardy's, by the way. That was, like, kind of, it was, like, an accidental clickbait. You know how YouTube picks your, um, picks your, uh, whatchamacallit, your thumbnail? But, yeah, let's go look at some of my other bench presses. All right, y'all, this is 18 minutes into that same video I just showed y'all. And I'm going to have to mute it because there's a lot of copyright music in there. There was copyright music all the way through the first video. The video ain't about me lifting. This is 275. I just put it in there for extra. And, um, yeah, the video was about us going to the movies and everything else. So I'm going to show y'all 275. I think I was a little heavier than I am now. Um, yeah. So let's go. Let's go ahead. Lift this weight. Yeah, boy. So you got to have that serious face. People be like, what you mean by serious and focused? If you're playing under this weight, I think I was 175 or give or take at the time. I'm like 160 right now. Um, yeah, I gain and lose weight, you know what I'm saying? Um, I used to be big in the bulking and cutting. Like, see how easy that is? This is part of my warm-up. Right now, that would be heavy for me to do one. You know, I'm not struggling. I was basically testing the waters because I was moving up. A warm-up, and then you put on more weight. Watch, I'm going to put on some more weight. I took the camera. So this is 315. These are three plates on each side. You know, a lot of people, you only show one side. I'm going to put on, I'm going to have three plates on this side and then nothing on that side. You're crazy. So let's see how 315 went up. As you see, there's nobody behind me. No spotter. So this is easy weight to me. 
now, right now, can I do 315? Maybe. Um, would I have a spotter behind me? Yeah. <laughs> would I be able to perform the lift? I don't know. Maybe I fail. That's why I would have a spotter behind me. I'm trying to teach y'all the things. Why you don't live without a spotter? Because I know my limits. I know what I should and shouldn't be doing. I am not a beginner. Do not put me in the same category if you are a beginner. My beard was shorter back then, but it was a lot neater than it is nowadays. You know what I'm saying? This is about three years ago. Let me see. Before I, let me go and lift the lift first. So yeah, I'll show y'all what it looked like. You, you, you. Go to my how-to bench videos, and I'll teach you step-by-step step what I'm doing. You do not just lay on the bench and do it. 315, a little bit of a struggle, not too hard, not too crazy, not a max. So this video was shot three years ago, January 22nd, 2019, and it only got 199 views, really? This was one of my best videos. I think I just had the most good stuff at the end. I put, what, that's, I don't know if that's five or ten pounds on each side. I don't remember. All I know is my max back then was, um, I don't know if I was doing 365 then or not. Cause I think I was only 175. I think I did, the lowest I did at 365 was body weight. Um, the lowest I did 365 pounds on the bench press, my body weight was probably 180. So I don't think I was doing 365 then. And this is after coming back too. Cause a lot of people, um, did I do this lift or did I fail? Of course, I didn't feel I have a spotter. Okay, I'm getting ready. You have to get ready. That's why right now, you cannot be talking with this weight. If this weight was to fall on my neck, what you think would happen to me if this weight was to fall on my neck? Huh? I wouldn't be able to breathe. What happened if you can't breathe? You finished that. What happened? Exactly. You cannot... Oh, those are fives. Okay. So this is 315 plus 5 plus 5. That's 10. You know what I'm saying? It's 5 on this side, 5 on that side, of course. So that's 315 plus 10. This is 325 pounds. Oh, I bailed out. I'm teaching y'all something right here. So what I'm saying was it did... That wasn't working for me. It, I got the captions on. That was not working for me. So I dropped down to... 75 no i dropped down to 275 the captions are messed up so i dropped back down from 325 to 275 so i took 50 pounds off to do some rep work that was warm-up weight now i was repping weight see what i'm saying that's why they call me repping but i'm trying to teach you something know your limits know your limits so you can know where to go from there whether up or down always tell beginners do not go in the gym Lifting as heavy as you possibly can. Just because you see somebody else doing a high amount of weight. That does not... Do. Dude, I weighed 175 in this... If you're 175, that does not mean that you can do this weight. This is after years of lifting. This is after years of know-how. I hope I'm getting hurt right now, bro. Like, for real. Like, okay. Let me look what's down there. Lottery... What is down there? Go down, not up. Okay. Okay, how I'm going live. Um, Cardi B, Tasha K. Cardi B and Tasha K case, that was clickbait. Um, I just put that out there, my morning workout, which I didn't film just like this one. But let's see what I did with this 275. See what I did with this 275. How many reps? I was going... Okay, I'm gonna get five reps to say in the com in the captions. Five reps of 275, which is a hundred pounds over my body weight. Um, that's a lot of things that a lot of people don't understand. Pound for pound, a lot of guys like NFL Combine, NFL Combine. Um, those guys they uh, wow, my hair must have been greasy because the light is shining. I had just cut my own hair too, so. You know what I'm saying? If it had looked messed up. I used to have braids. If you see my before pictures, I used to have braids and stuff. And uh, so I look like I got plugs out of my hair. I got wave videos that shows that's not how my hair looks. It's all good. <laughs> so you almost kissed the bar. Everybody's set up different. So let's see how I do with this. This is after benching three some, so I'm kind of fatigued. One, see how easy they're going compared to the warm-up reps? That's three. 
four. Come on, you got to get five or six. Come on, man. Five. Now, my record with 275 is like 10 reps, 11 reps. Something like that. I don't know. But I was like 180. And plus, I was more consistent. That's what I be trying to tell people. Like, consistency, um, being in the gym, out of the gym, blah, blah, blah. So, what am I doing? I don't know. Y'all have to watch the rest of this video yourselves. I'm not going to go through all that. I went down some. Oh, no, that's too... Yeah, I went down some. But like I said, I don't know what I'm going to do with these reps or whatever. But if you want to know exactly... This is one of my best bench press videos, even though it's not a bench press video. There was a lot of things explained in this video. By the way, uh, remember, this is what the video is titled, but you have to type in Rep and Time Fitness, the game featuring Nas Street Riders. Don't just type in the game street. That's a good song. You can listen to that. You can type in that or whatever. But the song is on here. The whole song. I really didn't know what I was doing back then. I was that crazy. I did not know nothing about YouTube at all back then. But uh, this is three years ago when I started my channel. But if you type in Rapid Time Finish This, you will hear the song and you will see this. So you'll get the best of both worlds. Now, this video is actually dope. But if you, this, the lifting part starts at 18 minutes. Remember that. A matter of fact, I'm going to link it below. A matter of fact, what am I talking about? Look it up. Back then, I didn't know how to link. Do you know I was almost sponsored by a couple people um, back then when I first started? And they wanted me to uh, I, go look at Rapid Time Fitness previews of reviews or whatever um i reviewed a lot of different products back then people used to send me stuff i might get back into doing that like you know what i'm saying but one company was gonna sponsor me but I, I did a video about them and uh about some gloves or whatever not this video but another video and um i wish heartbreaker was going um like uh sponsor me wow it took me a long time like see back then I used to like really explain to you, like the, if you look at the video, all of this video has copyrighted music. I gotta get the baby. Gotta get the baby. Okay, Momo. But yeah, all this video is here. Get your bottle. Say, man, this video is from me three years ago. Um, I looked a lot bigger back then. Um, I was not as lean as I am now. That's the difference between bulking and cutting too. A lot of people who has the untrained eye is easily fooled by people who are big and husky and you think it's muscle. Boking and cutting, when you take your shirt off, you can't hide the fat. Like right there, I don't look like I'm fat. I'm not really that fat. I'm big. I'm muscular and I'm strong. But if I took my shirt off then compared to if I take my shirt off now, oh, I'm cutting through that like butter. Oh, wow. I got to look at my old videos myself. You know what I'm saying? The company that was going to sponsor me ended up not sponsoring me because um, I didn't know how to put their link in my description or whatever. I might try to get back in contact with them. I didn't know. I know how to do it now, of course. It's three years ago. You know what I'm saying? Hmm.